Hey guys, it's Pastor Joe and today is Tuesday. I want to ask you a favor. If these devotionals bless you and help you throughout the week, would you like them and share them on your page? Uh, everything that we do is not only for you, but we also want to partner with you to reach out to your friends and family. And the more that you like and share these videos and weekly devotions, the more of an impact that we're all making together. Today, we are going to be in Philippians 2, verses 5 through 11. Now, we can't begin to read this passage without remembering the words we read yesterday uh, in the preceding verse. Paul emphasized in those preceding verses humility. Humility in the life of a follower of Jesus that we need to live our lives and put others first to become a servant to them. Now, listen to how Paul describes the life of Jesus. Jesus just didn't teach humility. He lived it. He lived it out. Paul writes this in Philippians 2, 5 through 11. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. When he appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. Therefore, God elevated him to the place of highest honor and gave him the name that is above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So Paul begins that passage of scripture saying to the believers, you must have the same attitude as Jesus. So let me ask you a question. How is your attitude today? Not how was your attitude yesterday, not how will your attitude be tomorrow. Right now, how is your attitude? See, frankly, some days my attitude sucks. I can be short with people. I can get irritated with people. I can, I can be irritated with my wife. She can get irritated with me. And that just makes me more irritated because I was irritated first. How dare she steal my bad attitude? And it's when my attitude stinks that, that because I am a follower of Jesus, I think about this passage of Scripture. Uh, I think about these bullet points under verse 5 that describes Jesus' attitude. He did not cling to equality with God. He gave up His divine privileges. He became a man that became the servant to the world. He died a criminal's death on a cross. See, Jesus lived with an attitude of humility. He lived as though God was more important than him. He, he lived as though other people were more important than himself. So reflectively, let me ask you, was God or is God theologically more important than Jesus? No. Was humankind more important than Jesus? No. But Jesus lived and died as though they both were. So when you begin to get that little sassy attitude that you have, when it creeps in your heart and when other people treat you as though you are insignificant, they treat you like a servant, like you don't matter. Remember, people, humankind treated Jesus the very same way and he was okay with it because he had a humble attitude. So be humble today. Serve your family today, clean the bathroom today, fold the laundry today, do the dishes today, and leave that sassy attitude at the door. Thanks for joining us today. I hope that you are blessed. And again, like it and share it with your Facebook world.